Hey there everyone, this is your host Scotty Oka and welcome back to Photo Mode Fast Forward Commentary Edition. Now, uh, what you see and what you hear are done uh, different times, so unfortunately I could not record while making the video, but there, here we are now. Uh, also too, uh, there is no post editing in my videos, so everything I do make in the videos is basically just what it is. And I'm very proud of all, with a lot of these pictures. So anyways, um, in this particular episode, we are focusing on a very interesting theme that um, the Challenge Collective had done. And it was uh, Triptych. Now, keep in mind, I didn't want to... Uh, I don't like having to do uh, photos uh, with a lot of post-editing. Um, because it's a challenge to myself. So, I decided I was going to fake a triptych. Uh, and to do that, I'm at uh, Stanish's house right now, and or his penthouse. And as you can see, I have support beams. Support beams are going to actually act as my triptych uh, frames here. I'm doing a lot of field of vision stuff right now, as you saw earlier. Uh, I did light up Spider-Man, but it's mostly for right now. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to do that. It was hard. I will admit, this was not an easy thing for me to do. Uh, the reason why I don't like doing a lot of post-editing stuff other than rotation, it's, again, it's more a uh, challenge to myself. I want to try to see what I can achieve on my own with the tools I am given. So, you know, I don't use Photoshop, I don't use GIMP, and etc, etc. Um, so to do triptych, uh, unfortunately this picture did not make it into their uh, uh, TCC magazine, but uh, I'm still very happy with how this picture turned out, and I think that's the most important part. Okay, so I'm messing with the camera a little bit, just try to even it out. Uh, in my opinion, I think... I think, at least to me, I don't know, I could be wrong, I think my frames here are pretty, uh, pretty evened out. So, I have the light facing down on Spidey. Uh, exposure all the way down, I'm changing the, uh, filter type to high action. Give, uh, so that way the background can be very minimized oh oh crap Let, let's go let's go back there we go focus distance is at five because again i don't want the background to really stick out i want spidey to be the main focus um a lot of experimenting right now with trying to figure out my lighting there we go I have to say, if it's not facing at Spidey from the front, the, the light's a little hard to move. Um, just so everyone's always forever aware, the light can be somewhat hard to move. Okay, and I have it up higher, facing down. Turn the intensity up. Oh, oh, there we go. Ooh, that actually gives a pretty good uh, reflection on the window there of Spidey. It actually looks kind of cool there. Um, of course, I always turn my softness all the way up just that way. The heart, the light doesn't seem so harsh. Then do one more light, possibly. Yeah. There we go. Uh, softness, or turn the spread down. Alrighty. Turn the color intensity, the white, as always. Well, not always, always, but usual. Huh. Yeah, I think this is going to be the... Uh, the picture so anyways thank you all for watching 
If you enjoyed this video, go on ahead and like this video and subscribe as I turn the color intensity just all the way down to white, just so it's easier on me. And softness all the way up. There we go. Uh, again, if you like this video, go on ahead and like this video and subscribe. And until then, everyone, I will catch you all later. Bye-bye.